Hey there Virgo, it's Angie with Feisty Butterfly Tarot and today we are taking a look at the Vice Versa Tarot and we're going to take a look at what's going on in December and we're going to look for the middle of December um, roughly about 10 days, kind of a weekly-ish and we're going to see what's going on so take what resonates and leave the rest and since this is double-sided because it is the Vice Versa we're not going to worry about exactly how they present and we're going to take a look at multiple viewpoints perspective. All right. Here we go. Okay. We have the Ten of Cups, Justice, the Three of Swords, Sun card, Queen of Cups, and it looks like the Ten of Wands. Okay, so what's going on with you and what's coming at you? It looks like you've had a happy family time, very emotionally fulfilling, but there's some justice, some lessons, some leveling off, some evening out, things that need to be in balance still that aren't quite there yet. This could do with legal matters. It could do with inheritances for some. It could do with balancing the scales and things taking time and the one truth. Um, there could be a truth that you have to recognize and realize that causes a little heartache or something that you may have outgrown for some of you. This um, period of happy ever after energy also has this hard truth. This isn't something that just comes with ease. It's something you have to work for sometimes. There's lessons in um, give and take in balancing scales. You have the Queen of Cups in the center of it all. Um, she's one that talks about emotions and reflecting on emotions and how you're feeling. This is a very watery card. This is usually a Cancer card. But the Queen of Cups is about emotions and reflecting and thinking about um, lessons learned in love. And sometimes these lessons don't come easy. They're usually hard-won lessons at this stage of the game. So understanding those and having a value for those and being calm about what you've learned as far as love goes in romance, in family, in life, in general. You have the sun card, usually this is how it presents, but we flipped it over and it's like this. This is, maybe the sun's gone down on something. Maybe you've had your eyes opened about one thing or another and been enlightened, had this new epiphany, this new information given. And although it might not be your favorite thing to learn, it is a learning, it is a lesson, and it is um, communication and knowledge that you needed to have. This, this was a lesson that is on your journey. You've had this Ten of Wands where the end is in sight. And you're kind of bogged down because you feel like the end isn't in sight. You feel like you still have a long way to go. Maybe you thought things would be finished sooner than what they were. So you still have this Wands kind of as a burden for you. You're feeling a little overburdened. But this is inspirational. This is passion project. The Wands are to do with fire. And he's carrying the chopped wood, the lumber. So something has grown. Something is almost finished. And a new time will be coming. Let's take a look at maybe some hidden elements that aren't being seen. Put this back how it was. That maybe are undercurrents. Whoa, okay, we're gonna take a look at these. All right. The King of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. So the King of Pentacles is upright, the Knight of Pentacles is reversed. The King of Pentacles knows how to budget, rule, understands his kingdom, understands what needs to be established in the 3D, in the finances, and how to um, create a plan so the harvest comes in full on. The Knight of Pentacles is prepared and ready to go, but he slogs through things slowly. And you're kind of in the balance of both of these two. That's, that's what the balance point is right now. You're prepared, but you want things to come into fruition a little faster, and they're just not doing it. And it might be putting your knickers in a twist. It really might, because you really want this energy here, but it feels like you're going forever slow. You spend too much time preparing and over-preparing, and you don't get anything done. That might be how it feels. But really, there's things going on that are lessons that are the preparations have been made for, and the abundance is there. It is coming. So that's what that is about. Let's take a look at the Animal Spirit Oracle and see if there's a little bit of extra insights we can give you from there. Just as kind of a post-it note from the universe for you, okay? So, woo, those are slippery, slippery, slippery cards. One second. I'll try and shuffle these old school. 
and then do it again. Okay. Now let's see what we got. Yeah, that feels better. Okay, clear as day. We have two. We have Be Here Now, Hummingbird Spirit, very much the same energy, totally the same energy. Armadillo Spirit, set healthy boundaries, know what you need to protect. All right, we're gonna put these out this way because I think we have more space to go this way than that. But look at this. That's awesome, actually. Very awesome. Know what it is that you need to protect. Know what it is that you're working for as far as your happy ever after, what matters in love to you. Understand that. Understand that these things aren't easily learned, that sometimes there is a little bit of heartache. There's a little bit more work than maybe you anticipated in this, and that's okay. Things balance out. There is fairness. There's two sides to the equation, two sides to the story. Understand that you're between these two. Here's this queen of cups, this queen emotion between a king and a knight. So be here now. Be present as much as you can. Set the boundaries. Take care of your own needs emotionally, what you need to do. That's, that's your job. It's not someone else's responsibility. So be aware of that. Understand that there is karmic lessons in here, big time karmic lessons, and that you're doing well. You're on the right path. All right. Leave me a little bit of a note. Let me know what you thought, if any of it resonates, how it works for you, and what's going on with you. Like, subscribe, and tell a friend. Take care, guys. See you again. Bye-bye.